Welcome back to JR and Sue's farm. We're out here on the place. We've been cutting up some lumber for our neighbor. He's been doing some cedar steps and uh, got that all cut up over here. I'm gonna have Sue follow us over here. She's doing the cut uh, camera work today. And uh, we've been cutting up planks for him to do the stairs. And this has been what the remnants were. Um, three and a quarter inches thick. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with what's left over, but that's part he didn't want. And it's all cedar. It's very pretty. Uh, very unusual. Some big logs. Ugly. Uh, cedar's not the prettiest growing up. It's got lots of limbs on it. That's what makes all the fancy designs and all the, all the pretty colors and that kind of things. But uh, very hard to cut. It was long. It was sort of uh, really ungrooved. Anything... I'd like to let you know that we're working on our sound and we're working on our camera work. And uh, today we are going to cut a pine log. But before we cut a pine log, I'd like to introduce you to the newest member of the Smith family. No, it's not a kid. No, it's not somebody we're adopting or anything. The newest member to the family is a steel chainsaw. This one right here. It is a 661C. Everybody's been wanting to know what I've been cutting my logs with. Well, used to, I cut my logs with my dad saw. He had a 56. Sadly, we were in a big windstorm. We were cutting a tree. No wind on the bottom. Big, tall pine tree. And it came back to bite us. And it killed the old saw. So, out with the old, in with the new. Like to show you how it works, but first of all, I might as well tell you a little bit of a story. I talked to several of the loggers around the country about the saw to buy. Everybody's got their own idea. Guys work with saws every day of the week. They know exactly what they want. This was not what I was told to get. I was told to get sort of a smaller saw, faster saw, and that kind of stuff. Well, I went all over the country. Nobody had it. You know, with this thing going around right now, it's always hard to find what you want. But I stopped in one Mountain View, Missouri at Foster's store. And a couple of the boys up there I've known most of my life, we'd had the discussion of what kind of saw to buy. And everybody's got an idea, but them knowing me, they said, you're not going to be happy with a small saw. So this is what I ended up getting. They did not have it in stock. So I searched around to another little store here close to home and bought one. There's only one on the shelf this big. If you go to the steel show, you can look at the top shelf, second shelf third shelf go all the way to the right there's a brick underneath that see into the shelf that's where this saw's at no i'm just kidding there's no brick underneath there but it's all the way to the end so anyway saw's been really good i like the way it cuts it's fast What's that? stop it so as i've been reminded I did not tell where I got it from. I got it in Winona, Missouri at Douglas Saw Shop. And uh, they do they do a good job up there. So if you know where Winona, Missouri is, now you know where the rest of us are. And that's where I bought the saw. Now, one thing about the saw, it does have the button here on top to, um, you push it in, it's supposed to be easier to pull, to start, and things like that. I have never used it. Um, it starts like the old saw, down, starts, up is off. And uh, if it don't make me out of a liar, it usually cranks, fires the first, second pull, usually really well. It is loud. Um, and it's fast. And now I'm going to fire it and show you how it cuts it into this saw. And I've only got about four inches to play with to make this log 16 foot. So maybe I can do it correctly and put my earplugs in 
and I'm hoping that this don't be too loud on my new microphone so you can hear what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing. So we will check this out. I will put it in the start mode. First of all, I am going to put on my gloves. I'm not a big safety guy, but I like gloves and I like to hear. So I put my hearing plugs in. So we'll see how it works. One go. As you can see, she cuts very well, very smooth. You don't have to fight with it. Mostly you got to drop it through. I've only got to fall a couple trees with it. Um, and so far I'm very impressed with it. A lot of power, uh, but you could hear when she started, she's sort of like she's got a big cam in her. But it's been very fun saw to work with so far. All right, we're going to get back. We're going to put the log on the, on the mill and cut it up and see if we can get some two befores out of it. Eight foot of 
good material just in the outside slab. So there's no need to throw them that away, putting them on the, on the strut box.
that they'll work great on the barn. We're really starting to make a dent on some of the lumber you need for a barn. You need a lot when you're cutting for a barn. So it's been a great day. Me and Sue are tired. We're going to put the lumber away and do a few chores around here and call it good for the weekend. As always, if you like our videos, share them with a friend. If you don't like our videos, share them with all your friends. Why should you suffer alone? Anyway, I hope our audio is better and our microphone's better. You can hear us. Hope you enjoyed the steel chainsaw. That's it for now.